So far, we've seen a couple of different variable types. We've already used some integer variables and seen how to declare them, initialize them, and update them to keep track of numbers as they change. However, the way Java stores an integer value is pretty much like using a relatively small box. And for the same reason that small boxes are easier to move around, integers tend to make your programs run a lot faster than other types. That's why Java limits the value of an integer to this 10-digit number over here. Anything larger than that won't fit into an integer variable. This would work fine for most programs, but sometimes we need to keep track of much larger numbers. That's why Java offers this variable type called long. Long variables can store much larger numbers than an integer, but with the cost of making your program run slightly slower. So when writing a program, you should decide if the variable that you're going to use would ever need to have a value larger than this value here. If so, then use a long. If not, then using the integers would be the wiser choice. Both integers and longs can also store negative values. However, they cannot store fractions. And that's why Java has this third data type called double, which can store pretty much anything, a normal positive number, a negative number, fractional number. However, just like the long type, it comes with the cost of slowing down your program. So it's still much wiser to use integers or longs when your values don't have any fractions in them. When storing text, however, we can use the string variable that we've seen earlier. We can declare it and initialize it just like any other variable. However, when initializing a string variable to a particular text, we usually use those quotation marks around the text. Another text data type is called a character, which is shortened to char. It allows you to store just a single letter without having to store it in a string. Notice that we're using single quotes here now, instead of the double quotes with a string. You can store any type of character into a character variable, even single digits, like the number 3. But be careful not to confuse it with an integer 3. A character variable is used to display text or concatenate it with other strings, but not for mathematical operations like with integers or longs. Also remember that a character can only store one letter. So if we try to set this character variable 10 into this 1, 0 setting here, Java would complain and won't accept it. Sometimes, instead of wanting to store a number in a variable or text, we would want to store the result of a decision that the computer made. And this is when we use the Boolean variable. It can only have two values, either true or false, pretty much like the answer of a yes or no question, or like a checkbox, whether it's checked or not. But we'll see a lot more about how to use this Boolean variables in the next lesson when we talk about decision making.